Hey everybody, Robert Rambles here, and welcome back to WoW Classic TBC and our Tauren Warrior playthrough. Yes, we are going to take another shot today at getting the shield off the first boss here by running Mana Tombs. It's probably be the last time that I'll run this and record it. Uh, after this, should be moving on to some other dungeons, but I do want to have another shot here at getting our shield. really would have rather pulled these guys back a little bit more. Like maybe even back here. And yet in the group we have a 68 Blood Elf Rogue, a 65 Hunter, a 66 Warlock, and a 65 Druid on heels. So a pretty balanced group as far as uh, gear needs. Hoping that everybody can get something they need out of here. Obviously not everybody will get something, but I guess what I'm hoping is that the loot that does drop is needed by somebody. Even if that somebody is not us. Everybody is pretty low on mana. I'd like to give them a second here to go ahead and drink. Uh, the healer is drinking. It's really hard to tell with the uh, tree form when, when a druid is actually drinking in tree form. I, I have a hard time telling. Uh, well, let's pull these guys over here first. Alright, I'll take it. Now I think we're going to go on the left.
Uh, where is the patrol? I guess the patrol is right here. Can we grab these guys without ticking off the boss? That's the question. I don't really know, but we are about to find out. Yeah, the boss stayed put, so that's good. Alright, here we go. Let's cross our fingers and maybe we'll get the shield. This will be the third time we've uh, cleared this dungeon. Now, I feel like maybe we're supposed to stop DPSing here. I'm not really sure, actually. Yeah, I think maybe when he shifts into the void, we're supposed to stop DPS. And look at that, there we go, that is awesome. That's exactly what we need. And uh, yeah, we're gonna equip that right away. We've had the Skull Flame Shield for a long time. And it only took three runs to get it. So yeah, pretty happy about that. That's uh, best case scenario. Said I, I really only wanted to run this this last time and it dropped, so. Pretty great. It, it literally doesn't get any better in here, I don't think. Uh, we already got the two-hander off the boss that drops the two-hand sword, and we don't really need it because we do most of our questing right now as prods, so I don't think there's anything else in here that we really want. Alright, uh, let's grab the patrol really quick while we have the opportunity to do that. Let's pull them all the way back. Uh, let's come to this side now. And we'll start clearing over here.
And we'll clear out this back corner here. Alright, let's pull the mana leeches here. We don't have a mage to slow them and deal with them, so... That's gonna be interesting. They explode when they die, so we, we really don't want to be close to these guys when they go up. Yeah, I think letting the pet tank them, <laughs> as brutal as it is to the pet, might be the best idea. If you don't really have a means, I guess we had a slowing trap. Would have been would have been good. I don't know how much it helped there though. Okay, either way, let's come over here next. Uh, well, let's do this. Oh, they missed the trap initially. Okay, well that explains it. Uh, I don't really want us doing that right now. Let's. I really want him further back. Uh, he's resisting the taunt. Alright, there we go, we got him. Okay, we got we got some ads here. I guess I did not really real uh excuse me, I'm flustered. I did not really realize there was another group. Uh yeah, I should have been paying more attention. You'd think running this three times and I would know where all the patrols were, but that did not happen this time. Okay, well, that was a good recovery. Good healing, good DPSing. Bad positioning on my part. I knew there was a reason why I would pull all these guys back over here. I guess that means the way is clear to charge in on this group. Letting the healer get some of their mana back here before we go charging it again.
Uh, I don't like this patrol here. I don't like it at all. Uh, nope. Nope, nope, nope. Can we get this? I guess we can get this now. And we're gonna pull it all the way back here. I actually want to pull it into this room. No, that's... Again, not where I want it. Come back here, please. I'm gonna hug the corner here, just in case we get feared. Uh, mana burn, yeah, I guess mana burn is probably a huge problem for the healer. Also, we need to pull those uh, mana worms a little bit better because we're getting the group blown up our, apart, basically. Uh, what do I want to do here? I guess I'm going to pull these guys first. Let's do this. Pull them back. Yeah, they're still getting him. I mean, we had a double interrupt on the one, which we didn't need.
Alright, second boss time. Let's let everybody get their mana back here. Second boss uh, has, I don't think, anything that we need. The two-handed sword we already got. One-handed sword with agility on it that I don't think would be better. It would improve our hit rating. Yeah, nothing that we can really use here. The Earthquake. Could I have been jumped or facing away during the Earthquake? Would that have helped? Yeah, see, we already have this thing. So, I, I, uh, I don't need it. That's a slap in the face to the Rogue, who was really hoping that the one-hander would drop. Yeah, and see, that's what I don't like about runs sometimes. I don't like it when uh, a boss drops and nobody gets something that they can actually use. That's a little bit lame. We are going to try to pull these guys on their own here, because I don't think we can deal with them and the actual enemies. I'm not gonna, like, take these guys towards the healer, but at the same time, don't really have a lot of room here. Yeah, we're getting hit by all of that. Those are, those are much easier to deal with when we have a, uh, a mage in the group. We are getting gouged. When we get gouged, we can't generate threat or hold threat. And we have a lot of uh, threat potential in our DPS. So the gouges are going to be a pretty big problem here, potentially, for some of the people in our group. Uh, I am going to grab this patrol right here, since they are... Perfectly where we can pull them. Come back here so that we're within line of sight of the healer would be nice. Someone didn't get their spirit shard off the boss. That's definitely us. We are really bad at uh, not looting bosses. So... We will do the run of shame back to the unlooted boss and uh, do that so they can mine him.
Alright, room is clear. Let's pull this terror back to the doorway here so that we don't have to uh, get feared. Oh, we are, we are good. We are pulling him back. All the way back here, please, before you fear somebody. I'm gonna tuck myself into the corner. There's the fear, and there we go, in the right direction. The healer does not have any mana, so we're going to give them a second to drink before we pull the next group. I want to take out the guy that gouges us first. Yeah, I feel like he's the most troublesome to me. These stalkers, they have a nasty gouge, and they will cast it on you several times. Alright, mana is looking good. I am just going to go ahead and pull them back. Nobody wanted to kill the Stalker first. They did not uh, want to do it. They wanted to kill the other stuff first. Let's try again. Yeah, we're getting really lucky with the direction of the fears. It's also really helpful just to pull them so far back that the fear can't possibly aggro anything else. There's the second fear. Also completely useless. This group is going to come all the way back into the hallway. Every once in a while the pulls are fine, then sometimes like the pulls are just like all over the place as far as like aggro. I don't really know what the difference is. I, I tend to do the same exact things every pull, so I'm assuming the difference is in how the DPS open up. Or like, when they open up, if they're giving us that extra second to get a uh, Devastate off on everybody or not. Because we're basically doing the same stuff each time we pull. And yeah, it's the gouges here are like really bad. The gouges happening early are just really impactful to us uh, as far as establishing threat, I think. And then we get gouges throughout. We're going to wait till the Nexus Terror is more over here on the left, and we'll pull him back here.
All right, let's see. Let's grab the patrol that's coming up to the front here. Okay. If we could get a shot off here, that would be great. I'm going to go ahead and pull this group here next. Alright, now we can grab this Nexus Terror. Really would want him to be a little bit further back here, so I'm going to taunt him and pull him back. And uh, I think of these guys I can go in here. You must forgive me. I was not expecting that. Oh no, that's bad. We need to come way, way back here. But no matter. As I am a gracious host, I'm going to We probably should have just pulled these guys back. I probably shouldn't have bothered trying to get the charge off. Because the charge put us dangerously close to pulling that other Nexus Terror back there. That was almost catastrophic. Okay, let's let everybody get their mana back and kind of recover from that. And then we have the Nexus Terror to deal with here. And two packs of the Mana Leeches, which have not been our group favorite. I'm going to pull him now, I think. I think I want to get him now. It's good that we missed him. This should be good. Right at the rock. Come on. The druid should not be up here. That's an absolute fact. I'm just going to try to make sure that I'm one less person that has to be healed. That's really all I can do here. Without a mage or a little bit more DPS or control, there's really not. We could pair the, the Freezing Trap with the Reign of Fire, but it doesn't really seem to be going uh, that well. That would have been a great time for the Reign of Fire, but I guess we, uh, do we not need it? Oh, we needed it, it just didn't happen. I'm gonna pull this guy over here.
We will mark all of his beacons. Because they're not balls. It's not his blue balls, it's his blue beacons, so... Clearly says the name right next to it. Second, please. Okay, waiting. Waiting. I'm trying to get better at glancing at party chat occasionally. Uh, let's go ahead and loop back here before we go. Alright. Well, I'm gonna run in. Yeah, we're going to have to leave those to the DPS. I have such fascinating things to show you. And yeah, pretty by the book. We got some cloth boots, 19 stam, 19 it, 12 spirits. And that is it for this one, guys. Really happy we did get our shield, so we won't really have to come back in here. Uh, and yeah, it was a pretty huge upgrade over the skull shield that we had used. Uh, what feels like forever. It feels like there's never been a time when we haven't had the skull shield equipped. So yeah, that was really good. I'm really happy. And yeah, thank you guys for being here. I really appreciate you spending your time with me. I think the next dungeon that we're going to have to do is going to be... Akanai Crypts. So yeah, look forward to that. Take care of yourselves out there and take care of each other. And we will see you back in Outland sometime really soon. Bye now.